Hello Brainy Physios, so today we are going to learn about thoracic vertebrae and the key difference between T1, T5, T9 and T12 vertebrae. So the T1, T9 and T12 vertebrae are atypical, whereas the T5 vertebrae is a typical vertebrae as it possesses all the necessary features that a thoracic vertebrae must have. Looking at the T1 vertebrae, the body of the T1 vertebrae is quite broad as you can see over here and it is shaped like this. So a major transition happens between the neck and back which is from cervical to thoracic in T1 vertebrae. The marking over here is called superior costal facet and it has the attachment for the first rib. The first rib completely attaches with the superior costal facet and C7 does not have a demi facet for the attachment of head of the first rib. Looking at the inferior costal demifacet, it has the attachment for the second rib. Now coming to the tail of the T1 vertebrae, it is quite thick, as you can see over here, long and horizontal. Right, so let me tell you how the first rib attaches with the thoracic vertebrae. Over here we have the thoracic vertebrae and this is the way it attaches with the thoracic vertebrae like this. Let me place it over here. So next up we have the T9 vertebrae and looking at the T9 vertebrae we have the superior costal facet for the attachment of the ninth rib whereas it lacks the inferior costal demi facet that we have at the T5. From T1 to T8 all the thoracic vertebrae have facet and demi facet for the attachment of head of the next rib. Whereas in T9 and T10, the demi facet are absent. The body of the T9 vertebrae is heart shaped. As you can see over here, it is quite different from the lumbar vertebrae and the cervical vertebrae. Right? The tail of the T9 vertebrae is long, whereas looking at the T12 vertebrae, the body of the uh, T12 vertebrae is quite wide. It closely resembles a lumbar vertebrae as we are transitioning from thoracic to lumbar in here. It is quite wide. The superior facet is present at the pedicle and it has the attachment for the 12th rib. So similar to the T1 vertebrae, at the T12 vertebrae, the 12th rib completely attaches at the superior facet. The T12 vertebrae has an, invert, uh, has an inverted inferior articular facet. It is because for the attachment of the L1, which is the subsequent lower lumbar vertebrae. The tail of the T12 vertebrae is horizontal. Over here you can see, we can mark it like this. And it also has a small transverse process. As we go for, uh, downward from thoracic to lumbar, the T12 vertebrae, the superior portion of the T12 vertebrae is uh, designed in a way to match with the thoracic vertebrae above it, whereas the inferior portion is designed in a way to attach with the lumbar vertebrae. And that's it for today. Thank you.